Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. We got another one from Richard Griffin. If you go back through uh, my review history, you'll find another couple tricks that I've reviewed from him. And best of all, this one uses props everyday props that magicians use all the time. Sharpie marker, post-it notes. Um, how does the trick go? Well, you're gonna create a black hole right in front of the spectator. You're gonna pull out a pad of post-it notes, uncap the Sharpie, and then make a black hole there in the center. But in a second, that fake black hole is gonna become a real black hole. You're able to put the Sharpie marker into the drawing and the Sharpie marker begins to disappear. Pulling it all the way through, they will watch the Sharpie marker descend, 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 and then vanish into nothing. You spin the pad around, no Sharpie marker, peel the hole off, the drawing is still there. They can keep the drawing as a souvenir. There's nothing to discover. The pen is gone. Now, obviously, if you do this trick, I would not follow it with a trick using a Sharpie marker. <laughs> this should be the finale of your Sharpie marker. It's gone, <laughs> right? It went into a black hole. You don't wanna have to field questions after that, like, hey, you bought the Sharpie marker back. Where did it go? You, you, this is the end of your Sharpie marker, right? So a fun way to get rid of it, right? So if you've done tricks with a Sharpie marker, they've signed cards, signed, signed bills, a fun way to vanish the Sharpie marker would be to make it go into a black hole. So let's say you pay $40 to your favorite retailer. What are you gonna get? Uh, you get that nice black cardboard box. Inside that, uh, there's like tissue wrapping paper that's uh, concealing the gimmicked pad and the gimmicked pen. We understand, right? Gimmick pad and gimmick pen. You'll also get a real pad that you can use uh, for your cover sheets where you'll actually draw and hand those out. But um, can it be inspected? Nothing can be inspected. Well, the pen can't be because it's gone, <laughs> right? It's gone. And the pad can't be inspected either. So um, fully gimmicked means nothing inspectable. But is it what I thought? Um, yes, it kind of is what I thought. Um, watching the trick, watching his mannerisms, he has some telltale signs that some magicians kind of pick up on. Plus, I had previously reviewed Balance, where he also made uh, an object disappear. And the two methods are somewhat similar. Is it well made? It is well made um, for what you're getting. I mean, you're just, it's just a Sharpie marker and post-it notes, right? They're not, they're not fake, they're real, <laughs> except they've been modified. So yeah, they're well made and they're gonna look like what they're supposed to look like. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, the video is only 30 minutes long and you got Richard, he's standing in front of a kind of window with blinds. He's got a pink neon light shining up behind him. Uh, everything is recorded well, audio is well. You're gonna get mostly a waist high front shot for the majority of it. And in that, he'll cover everything. As far as what he's gonna teach you, You'll get the trailer once again. He'll cover what's in the box. He'll go over setup and then pocket management. Several of these items will take up different places in different pockets. He'll then give you a full presentation with commentary. And then at the end, you'll get an over the shoulder magician's view done silently. And here's my take. Watch that first. I say watch that first. Fast forward to the end, find that over the shoulder shot and watch that first. Even though there's no vocals, you will see the trick done quicker and fully exposed and all in all one take. So I think after you watch that, you will fully get it. You won't have to wait as he piecemeals out the explanation if, if you watch the, the longer explanation. So I would watch that first. You're gonna see the magician's view, see everything exposed, know exactly how it works, You'll see it happen in real time, then go back and watch the slower explanation because then I think you'll be tracking with him through the whole process. Does that make sense? So yeah. Then he does a studio performance um, for the camera, which he does at speed, and then he offers you some tips at the end. Pocket space. How's the pocket space on this? Um, you do need a dinner jacket. 
you do need a dinner jacket. He offers you some other alternatives, but I think even the alternatives he offers won't work as well. To do this the way it was designed, you kind of need a dinner jacket to do it because you really are utilizing both inside pockets. Okay, so you need that. Plus you need the cover that dinner jackets sometimes offer. They kind of act like, like curtains in a magic show. So let's talk about angles. Angles wise, everything's happening straight on. Okay, you are standing in front of the spectator, you're, they're getting a straight on shot. I think if they were off to the sides, they really wouldn't see the show. They wouldn't see what was going on. They really need to be straight on like that. And you certainly don't want anyone behind you at all. Let's talk about slides and difficulty level. I already mentioned that there's a clothing restriction. What this looked like to me was um, pen through bill. It kind of is the same effect, right? If you think about it, the pen is going through an object coming out the other side. It's kind of like pen through bill, kind of. There is a, there is a similar aspect to this, but it's not magnets. <laughs> it's not magnets, okay? But this trick is way more complicated than pen through bill. There's a lot more moving parts. There's a lot more that's involved and there's a lot of movements to it, which is why I say to watch the silent over the shoulder shot first. I think it'll simplify some of those movements for you. Set up and reset, you need to be loaded up, right? You're gonna have your rig on one side of your inside jacket pocket, parts and supplies on the other side. You kind of have to go out ready to perform. Positives, I think it's a fun, creative idea to watch the pen vanish into a black hole. Um, I like tricks with Sharpie markers. I think they're fun. And, and certainly the idea of giving them the black hole at the end and showing that it's just a, a black circle that you just made, um, I think is a lot of fun. Negatives, the way the presentation is done, I'm just gonna turn here for a second. Your hands can't get too far away from this space. So there is kind of like this framing that takes place where as the magician, you don't appear to be very free to move your hands. And so oftentimes, I know, I think when we palm objects, we kind of do this, you know, we have this kind of like fake way of showing our hands empty. Look, my hands are empty, <laughs> right? And it looks, it looks fake. And I think sometimes your spectator sees that, but they're just not gonna call you out on it. In this routine, one hand almost never moves from this position, right? You're always kind of keeping, and there's this blocking that's taking place. Um, is it worth your money? It is $40, 40 bucks. And like I said, you're pretty much getting everything you need to do the trick. Uh, and I think you'll be happy with the materials that are offered. Um, but that's everything I can say. Uh, if you can find some other reviews or some forum threads, uh, please read those too. If you see people who've purchased this online from your favorite retailer, of course, read those as well. I want you to make an informed decision when you spend your money. Please don't uh, <laughs> buy things without getting a second, third, or fourth opinion. You know, you work hard for your money, and so I want you to spend your money well. Spend your money on tricks that you're gonna love and tricks you will perform. That's everything I can say about Black Hole from Richard Griffin. Uh, I think I saw it at Penguin Magic for $40, but I'm sure uh, there's some other places you can pick it up from as well. Do a Google search and uh, find the magic store near you that has this. And I wanna thank Richard Griffin for allowing me to have this so I could do the review for you. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. Hey, do you want some more information about the t-shirt I was wearing in today's video? Sure, from my homepage, if you look up at the top, you'll see one of the tabs says store. If you click that, that'll take you to my Teespring merchandise. There, you'll see that I have a variety of different designs. Uh, there's more than one, so it's not just the shirt I was wearing today. And they're also at a large variety of price points, so there's something for everybody. Plus, if you click on a design that you like or that you're interested in, you'll also notice that you can select that shirt in different colors. So you're not locked into the color uh, that you see in the graphic. And that means, of course, you can buy the same design in several colors. Now, I don't ask that you buy a shirt. You don't have to. That is not uh, how I ask that you support me. But if you do buy a shirt, I want to thank you so much for supporting my channel, for believing in me. You guys are awesome. Uh, my fans are great. And I love it when you guys send pictures or you tag me on Instagram and you say, I bought a Magic Orthodoxy shirt. Uh, you, you have no idea how, how great that makes me feel and just uh, what, what a lift that is in my day. 
You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye.